Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. Before we get started talking about how to install this plugin, there's a few things to save you, save you some headaches that I can tell you. First of all, if you have any more than like two of these panels, you need to have a powered USB hub. So what is that? A USB hub will take one USB port on your computer and will multiply it into many more. So you have this one USB cable that goes to the back of this hub and then so only, it only takes one USB port on your computer and on this one I can power seven USB devices. There's five here and then there's two on the front. Now the other th important thing is that it be a powered hub. So this is a power adapter and that also plugs in because that will give the necessary power to run these. So I could plug in seven of these panels or of these panels and this thing would be adequate to run all of those. You would never be able to do that. If you could put that many USB ports in your computer, you wouldn't be able to run this because it's just not designed to power that much stuff. Now the other thing on your power adapter that comes with this thing, this particular one has uh, four amps of output, and that's good. A lot of them only have two and a half amps. So if you get a hub, let's say a 10 port hub, and it has a two and a half amp power supply, you're not going to be able to fill all 10 of those ports. You might only be able to use about five of them because you just run out of power. So do be aware when you look on here, you can see the amount of amps. And in many cases, if you're looking on a website, it will tell you how many amps that the device has. So uh, the last thing is uh, that this has to be 2.0, not USB 3.0, not USB 3.1, 2.0, 2.0. This hub does. And this hub must plug into a USB 2.0 port on your computer. That is the only way you're going to get reliable performance out of these SciTech panels, at least in today's world. Now, maybe they'll update the driver at some point where that's not a problem. You know, when they first told me this, I thought they were full of it, and then I've experienced it for myself. It is true. USB 2.0 is what you need, and a powered hub at that. So now let's talk about how to install the SciTech Flight Instrument Panel plugin from the xplane.org website. Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I want to talk about how to install the paid plugin for the Flight Instrument Panel here that you can purchase at xplane.org. And we recommend this, of course, over the, the plugin from SciTech. So I'm going to right click on this file I downloaded. It's a zip file that you download and I'm just going to extract it here. And it's going to create this folder called Flight Instrument Management Sys version number whatever version it's on. I'm on 4.16. So inside of here are some more folders and some documentation. Be sure to review the documentation. But I'm going to show you how quickly and easily you can install this. So first of all, this um, Flight Instrument Pan Management Sys folder, I'll zoom in here. This folder right here, Flight Instrument Management Sys. I'm going to right click and choose Copy. And I'm going to go to my C drive and I'm going to paste it in the root of my C drive. It has to go there because that's where the plugin expects it to be. And then there's one other folder to deal with, SciTech FIP DSM plugin. I copy that one and I go paste it into my X-Plane folder. So I find my X-Plane folder, go to resources and then plugins and then right click and choose paste. Done. That's it. The manual will have you reading and reading and reading and what it boils down to is 90% of it is just doing what I did right there. As simple as that. Now, um, one thing I will mention is you'll notice over here I have X SciTech panels loaded as well. I have a radio panel here and if you're using these type of panels, the radio panels, and you know you see an example of it here, um, the SciTech panel plugin for this is incompatible 
with the third party plugin for this. So you need to go download X SciTech panels for your radio panel in order for it to work, and, and your switch panel and your multi panel in order for them to work well with this. So again, if you've got the radio switch and multi panel, make sure you're using the X SciTech panels here. And if you see um, you know, the, the SciTech plugin in there, make sure you uh, take it out. I think its folder is called X SciTech Pro Flight. I believe is what they call their uh, plug-in folder. So that's it. That's what you do.